morning, day 33. Um, we are on our way to C, C double E today. Not a big day, about 20 k's. So we've just been wandering along path like that. And uh, heading down there. So it's quite picturesque in the moment. So yeah. <clears throat> And um, so we're about 7 k's in. We stopped for a coffee about at about the 5k mark. And when I hopped up, my little toe was sore. So I said to Doug, oh, I don't know if it's cramp or whatever. Anyway, so I kept on walking. Done another couple of k's. I said, no, I better check it. And now I've got a blister on my toe. I'm like, oh, hello. I mean, I've been walking for 33 days. And now, you know, besides the two big blisters on my back of my heels, nothing on my toes. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it might have got wet or something this morning because I still am wearing the sandals. But anyway, so I put a, put a compete on that and hopefully it deals with it for the rest of the day. But, like, seriously, we've got, like, two days of walking. Anyway, um, so, yeah, so we're heading on through. Seems to be quite a few people still out here on the trail. Um... I think there's, um, we've met a few that which are obviously coming off of the, like the Portuguese and things like that and finishing it off at Finisterre or Mishia. So we've just gone past the split in the trail where you can go direct to Mishia and then obviously once you're going to Mishia head on down south to Finisterre, uh, Finisterre. But we are going to sea. We're staying at sea tonight. And gives us a pretty cruisy day tomorrow to head on into um, Finisterre. And pretty much just spend the day. You know what I mean? I think we'll be there by about lunchtime. That way we'll get out to the lighthouse and at the end of the earth and gather our thoughts. And, and then... Um, Head on back, stay in uh, Finisterre for the night. So, yeah, organised to catch the bus back to Santiago. And um, that'll be it for this part of the adventure anyway. So, um, yeah, not a huge day today. This section we're doing now, it's about 13, 15 k's um, with no villages. So it really is like a big loop around to really. I mean, if you went by the road, it's probably five k's, and we're going to do about fifteen. But um, that just takes you through the through the forest, but looks things. I followed it around, but um, yeah, looking forward to seeing the water at uh, the port of sea. Um, so, or however they pronounce it, um, uh, we'll you know when we see it beautiful morning all the windmills we've gone past heaps this went past there was like a forestry logging machine making like bales of timber from like the off cuts and all the lit the you know the bits where you'd normally just burn okay about 17 in and we can see the ocean ahead of us see that I don't know if you can I'll have to zoom in um, yeah there it is so we are about to come into sea. So, which will be a destination for the day. So obviously we're heading downhill for a fair bit to get alongside it and then <coughs> that'll be that'll be us for today. <coughs> Just doing a little bit of live reporting on the Camino. It's coming on up here. It's gonna take a video of people taking pictures. Obviously, it's a pretty good vantage point. Uh, 
And there you go. That's why. There you go. The port of sea. Which will be down to you soon. Won't we, Doug?